Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's great to see you here as always. I'm your host, Steve Hall, and today we have another great summary of a podcast with Brad Schoenfeld. This is summary episode 114. Let's get into the summary points. Summary point number one is that just consistently going to the gym, training hard, eating well, is really the foundation that's going to bring about 70 to 75% of all the results that you could possibly want to see. Now, this might not sound like great to a lot of you because we're excited about the the other 30 to 25% of the results, but for many people, this is all they need to keep training hard consistently and eating well. Point number two is that it probably makes sense to accumulate volume over the time and actually plan to overreach to provide a super compensatory effect when you pull back. Brad Schoenfeld is a fan of purposely planning to overreach so that we can pull back and see super compensation. Point number three is that it's likely important to use variation to make sure that you're stimulating the entire muscle to sufficient degree. For example, your back. It's very complicated, and that's why it's important to have various vertical pulling movements, horizontal rowing movements, so that you're hitting every single muscle fiber and potentially hypertrophying them. Because if a muscle isn't stressed, if it's not utilized, is it going to grow? It is not. So if you stick to the same exercises throughout your training career and you don't have a large amount of variety, you're likely sacrificing some growth that you could have had. Point number four is that Brad is not a massive fan of deadlifts. They're highly fatiguing and there's a lot of injury risk potentially involved with them. And so they could really, really pull back on the amount of results you could get by being injured, but also highly fatigued, which would really, really cut back the amount of recovery and potential of progressive overload for other areas of your training program. Point number five is that despite recent evidence, it is likely that there is more hypertrophy pathways and Brad is still of the the opinion that there are more hypertrophy pathways than just mechanical tension. He still thinks there is potential for metabolic stress and muscle damage to provide muscle hypertrophy. And so he does think that we should program in a way that does target each of these pathways. Our favorite quote from the podcast is that literature, training literature is never going to tell you exactly what to do. And this is something I love about Brad is that although he is a researcher and a practitioner, he realizes that what the research he does can only provide the the backbone, the foundations from something to draw from, to then individualize to given individuals. It's never, this is the way you must do things. It's never that black and white. It's never that simple, unfortunately, but he is delving into things and revealing great, great things for us to get into in future to maximize our hypertrophy training. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this summary of the podcast. As always, if you want to watch the whole thing, I very much recommend you do head over to your podcast provider or our main channel, and you'll be able to find the whole episode there. As always, like this, give us a comment, give us a screenshot, tag us over on Instagram. We'd really appreciate it. And as always, I wish you to revive stronger.